Oh no, it's a Gundam is posting memes. When you think of defining moments of YouTube that led to advertisers fleeing in terror from the platform, you think of Logan Paul's <laughs> for us and PewDiePie's death to all <laughs> Joe. And of course, it's a Gundam posting a crackhead getting $50. Hey man, look man, here you go. This is for you. Uh, Don't you. buy no drugs. Uh, oh my God, $50. Oh my god! Hey, yo, what the fuck? Oh my god! <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? So I was removed from the partner program last month. That's why members on the channel lost their memberships. Instead of pulling a DSP and screaming to the high heavens that this was an emergency, even though it was tax season, I kept uploading and doing my thing, just nowhere near as hard as I used to before. By the way, thank God a terror like me has been removed from advertising. And now all those Chinese phone games can feel safe at night when they go to sleep. He's a monster. I'd also like to apologize to the crack smoking nation for my insensitive gross misuse of humor. All right, to be real, it was probably a post about gross gore calling himself a cuck. I don't even know if I could say that anymore. Can I still? You can't say much of anything. Honestly, it was my mistake. I know this algorithm is always looking to catch me doing something. Like a jaded cop that has an axe to grind with specifically one guy who went out with his daughter on, I don't know, prom night and stood her up. I made the mistake of thinking that you could have a little bit more fun on YouTube shorts. It was a bad call. Go. Fun and YouTube are no longer hand in hand. Add in the fact that YouTube was doing its quarterly audit of channels, it was just the wrong place, the wrong time, and the wrong day to be posting something that I thought was just genuinely funny. Considering most shorts you see on YouTube are people posting old crap that already exists. Lotus Eaters also got removed from the partner program. Brittany Venti got her channel terminated. Then she got it back after she raised a stink on Twitter. Honestly, this is the move I should have made. Among many other content creators, including ASMR channels and even family friendly channels were a victim of the YouTube March Madness algorithm, as I call it. I'll be out for who knows how much longer. For the time being, I'm going to take a little break. I'll upload, but not as much as before. Sitting at a PC for 10 plus hours a day and making no money is no bueno. Or maybe I'll just upload videos, but with less intense editing. I've been running with my dog more as of late working out again hell i think i'm gonna start hitting up motorcycle racing maybe you'll see me in njmp i'm not gonna make a note of it or anything maybe you'll see me maybe you won't maybe i'll be there if you race motorcycles or you do track days and you won't even know i was there now oh god i forgot to buy new motorcycle boots jesus christ there'll be more live streams happening you might have caught one or two after this but this is better <laughs> 76 is a polished gem. <laughs> you know what we need? We need Todd Howard <laughs> to make for the. Ah! <laughs> no! You motherfuckers! The match has ended and I have a penalty! Fuck off, Spider! Let's run, bro! Spiders! This is everywhere! This way! Oh, this... What the fuck is going on? Holy Jesus! Oh no! Oh my god! Why is this game so hard? No! <laughs> <laughs> That's it! Everybody gets a one minute ad! On Twitch, by the way, not on YouTube. Because in Twitch, I could still make 25 cents. You could check out my other channels where I do painting projects on the side. I'll probably still upload there. You know, being creative, doing something I don't mind doing. Or you can catch past live streams on the No Refunds channel. If you want to support the channel, you can always hit up Patreon. At least they don't get 30% of what I get from people who want to support me, unlike YouTube memberships. You could always catch a live stream and, hell, use a Twitch Prime sub. Why not? Big ups. I've gone hard on YouTube since the winter of 2016. I've ruined a long-term relationship focusing on this. I haven't hung out with my friends in years. Dating has been an absolute nightmare because what woman wants to deal with me being late for dates or constantly rescheduling on her all the time? 
because something stupid happened. You know, oh, DSP did this. And the girl's like, who gives a, <laughs> gives a fuck about DSP? And I'm like, you gotta understand, it's very funny. But to her, it's not. I've been a one-man army for years now. And all it takes for all of my hard work and dedication and never wavering in the face of multiple adversities, including the death of family members, friends, and pets. Uh, um, I bet Clean never has to worry about not being swiped by chicks on Tinder. I deleted my Tinder a long time ago. To... Hey, man. He didn't even need the app. <sighs> Dude, I don't leave my house, okay? I'm not worried about pussy. I'm not worried about men's buttholes or penises either, all right? I just want to be alone. Leave me alone. I don't leave the house either unless it was just a small dog until a white woman ran my dog over. Now I've got nothing left. <laughs> And I make one mistake and boom, I'm out. And it wasn't even a big one. I could understand if I pulled a suicide for us and I was like dancing around the dead body like skin a marinky, dinky dink, skin a marinky do. You know? <laughs> then I can understand. But I'll be back real soon. You probably won't even notice. I have some stuff in the works, so uh it'll be interesting. I should say thank you all for being here, frankly. You know. Despite all that's going on, Lord knows the random blacklistings, the the nuking of my channel that seems to happen every two years now, if not every year. Constantly getting shit on, and for what? Even when I follow the rules, I'm in trouble, and if I don't follow them, they'll try to cut my head off. And Six and a half hours later. So I reapply for the partner program. After being told, everything will be fine. We're confident that you'll be good to go. And I figured, eh, it's probably a little glitch. I deleted these videos that I thought were funny on the shorts. It's over. I'll be damned if not six hours later, after being told it would take a month, I was rejected for reused content. What? Even this video here that you're watching, I guess it's somehow reused and none of this is edited. It's all stolen from Disney Plus maybe. Who knows? <laughs> yes. I, I guess I shouldn't be surprised that I was told everything would be fine, and then somehow YouTube still manages to screw me six ways from Sunday. I've seen gang bangs on Stop videos out. that were less vicious. It's now obvious I have to go outside of the normal means of YouTube for help, because basically this is an algorithm problem. And the usual avenues for help that a content creator has is you send a repeal and pray that somebody with two brain cells to rub together goes, wait a minute, there's nuance here, and this isn't exactly right. So now, if you want to help, I'm probably going to tweet about this on Twitter. If you have a Twitter account, feel free to interact with the tweet, and you can at YouTube towards it. The more people that interact with it, the more likely something will actually be done, because this is a total goof-up. Losing one month of revenue, fine, whatever. But two, the government's like the mafia. They're not going to sit there and go, Oh, we see something went wrong. They're going to go, well, we think you should pay us this and then give it to us anyway. And then show that you didn't get that. Then you can <laughs> file to get a refund that'll take two years. If I don't pay up, I'll go to jail for tax evasion. <laughs> I'm crazy enough to take on Batman. But the IRS, no, thank you. The day YouTube actually works as intended, I'll lay a goddamn egg. Or I'll worry that the world will end. And I'm sure someone will sit there and say... Well, why follow the rules at all? Because then I'll be completely terminated. And let's be real here. Nobody was following me on BitChute. Nobody is following me on Odyssey. Nobody even talks about Odyssey anymore. It's like a new site comes up and people just change their talking point. Go to BitChute. People forget BitChute. Go to Odyssey. People forget Odyssey. Now it's Rumble. And then when people forget Rumble, it'll be a new site. Frankly, you got to be on the main stage if you want to be seen at all to build an audience to go someplace else. I wish I could pull an Aiden Ross, but I ain't got that much juice because frankly, hell, most people don't even want to bother following me to Twitch to see a live stream. And I'm not going to sit here and beg or anything. It's just not how I roll. Fuck it. Whatever. Do what you want, baby.